Hello everyone, this is Code Ode. Welcome to my tutorial. In this tutorial, I want to show you how to create a calendar in PHP using the daytime class. So, this is the end result of what we are going to be building. Uh, we have a table with all the days of the week and uh, all the days uh, of the specified month, in our case, um, this month. And uh, we want to keep uh, the cells uh, empty for the days of the previous month, just to keep uh, things simple. Okay. So, we have two files, index.php and uh, our calendar.php. For this project, I want to use Bootstrap to style that table and the version is 5. Okay, now we can move to our calendar.php. We start by creating that this class, so class calendar. Then we say extends daytime. As I have said, I want to use the daytime class. When uh, you have to know about inheritance, when we use extends, uh, all the public and protected uh, methods and properties of this class daytime uh, are going to be inherited by our uh, calendar class. Okay, now we need uh, several properties. Our first property protected, we need a year, then we need the month, so we say month number, and then we need the days of the week, so we say uh, weekdays, and we have to save these days in, a, in an array. We have Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and finally Sunday. And then we need one more um, property, the weeks, which is an array. This will make sense uh, in a short time. Now we need some setters and getters for uh, our uh, um, properties. So we say public get here, and we say, well, return this here, then public set here, and we need a here, and we say this here is equal with here. And now we have to do the same for the, the month number, public, public, of course we have to write public function, so public function, here to function, so public function get month number, return this month number, and then the set method, public function, set month number, month number, one parameter, and we say this month number is equal with month number. Perfect. Now we need the one more the method to get the weeks. So we say public function get weeks. And we say return this weeks. And finally, the method that it's actually going to create our calendar. So we say pub public function create. Okay, the first thing that we have to do is to create a new daytime object based on the year, the month, and the day of the month we want to use. So we say, we create a variable date, and we say this, set date, this is a method of the daytime class, and we pass the year, this, get, year, then the month, this, get, month, and finally, the day of the month, we start, we want the first day. Okay, we have a new daytime object uh, based on this information. And now we need to get the, the number of the day, the number, uh, the day's number, how many days are uh, in the specified month. So we say days in month. And we use this uh, variable date and we say format. 
and I think uh, we have to use uh, T for this and let's see if we are right var dump days in month and then simply die okay in our index.php we have to require this class calendar.php create a new object calendar new calendar we have to set the year set year 2022 then the month number calendar set month number we say 4 and finally we have to call the method create and we are done okay we have to fix this save let's go back to the browser and let's see the result of course we have an error in our calendar.php this is get month number okay back to the browser refresh so it's 30 of course this month has 30 days so we are on the right track okay now we need the um, the day the day of the week in which the month starts and we want the numerical representation for example if the uh, month starts uh, this month started on a Friday so uh, we need the uh, 5 because that is the uh, uh, number of that day so we say something like we create a new variable and we say how should we say how should we name this variable um, day month starts we can actually say num day month starts that just to keep it simple and we say once again date format and now we need an N with a capital N once again var dump day when month starts and exit let's see the result perfect it is a 5 because this month started on Friday good we are on the right track now that we have this information we need to create a new variable days this is actually going to be an array and we want to use the function array fill this is a function to create an array and fill it with the value so the first argument is the index from which we want to start say zero then the number of uh, elements we say day month starts and then the value that we want to uh, assigned for each element and we say an empty string why because as I have said in the beginning of this uh, tutorial we have uh, days that are part of the last month okay and we want this to be uh, empty to show empty cells right here and for this reason we fill this days array this, uh, this uh, array is actually uh, containing and is going to contain all the days of the month so we fill it with uh, right now with uh, these empty strings but uh, we are not done right now we have to add uh, all the other days of the month so we say just one thing that we have to do before this is to say minus one because if I'm not mistaken uh, daytime uh, the first day of the week uh, uh, is actually Sunday uh, for this uh, daytime class and we want to uh, use Monday so we have to actually subtract one you can actually write it like this okay we are done and now we can write a 4 for x is equal with 1 the first day of the month then we say as long as is equal is less than or equal to uh, days in month we say x plus plus and then we say days and we add an New, va new value to this uh, days array uh, for each x and we say x so basically we want to add all the days of the month starting uh, from the day uh, of the week in which the month uh, starts okay and finally we have to create the weeks uh, 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 array so we say this weeks and now we want to use the array chunk uh, function this function is going to split our uh, days array uh, in uh, multiple arrays uh, 
and each array is going to have exactly seven uh, elements uh, the seven days of the week so this is a really good function we, we want to split an array in multiple arrays and we want to specify the number of elements for each uh, array and we are done this is all we have to do so we have our function right here get weeks and right now we can move to our um, HTML and we can show the calendar. So we have the t-head. I want to use the PHP template syntax so we can actually say PHP for each calendar get weekdays. I think this is the name of that method. Let's see. Uh, get the earth. Uh, it seems that uh, it seems that we do not have that method, but we can add it right now. So let's say right here, public function get week days, and we simply return this week days. Okay, so calendar get weeks days as day name. Can close this for each okay we need a new tr table row well I think this has to be outside um, of this uh, let's see so we have uh, we get the weeks as this the day of the the, na the name of the day I think this has to be outside so let's change it let's create a tr outside and now we can simply write this so we have a th if I am not mistaken and we can say php echo day name and uh, I think uh, we are done let's see so we have this for each uh, we have to of course we have to write end for each this is the uh, template syntax uh, of PHP now let's see the result it seems that we have uh, some kind of error this uh, function is not uh, found or a chunk so it's like this chunk save and let's see the result perfect and now we can add all the days in this calendar so in our t body we have to do the same php for each calendar get weeks as week PHP and for each okay for every week we, we want table row and now we have to display all the days of the week so we need another for each so for each week as day we can actually say day number and we have to close this for each and for each perfect and uh, we want to create a table a TT and we simply want to show PHP echo day number and I think we are done let's see the result perfect so, as I have said, this month started on a Friday and uh, these empty cells are actually the days of the uh, previous month. You can actually uh, show uh, those days, it's pretty easy, but I want to keep uh, things simple. So, that's it with this uh, tutorial. I hope you've, uh, you've learned something really, really useful. See you next time.